Hi there, it's Riley Wilkinson, and today we are going to read Inside Cat by Brendan Wenzel. And as always, well, most of the time, I like to get my books from the library. You know what I'm going to say about the library? I do that because it's sort of like a test drive. I get to decide if I like a book, and then I buy it if I really, really like it. Look at this art. Look at this illustration. Change the camera a little bit so we can see more of it. There we go. Oh, I think I see a cat inside of a house. Do you have a cat? Or a dog? Look at this. This looks like it's maybe cut out of paper. Look at that collar. Inside cat. Okay, let's go inside. Inside Cat knows many windows, finds a view wherever it goes. Wanders, wonders, gazes, gapes, sees the world through many shapes. Look at all the places the Inside Cat goes. We have windows on bricks, and we have an arched window near all these Cactus, cacti. Looks like he's sitting near a bookshelf, or she, they. They're sitting near a bookshelf. They're looking out another window, going upstairs. Look at how these stairs were painted, just with a little brush stroke. Square and round shapes, thin and wide, downward, upward. We've got up. And down, oh, look at the rat eating pizza. We've got thin and wide. Yeah, they're both thin and wide. Look at this one, fish in a bowl. Square and round shapes. We can see a spotlight or a traffic light through this window. Boy, that's cool, a round window. You know what else I noticed? On this spread, so a children's book with two pages, this is called a spread, and this is the gutter. This is called a gutter for people who are in the know about children's books. When I look at this spread, I see all these different little scenes, these mini little scenes. Look for that when you read the book. Okay, back to windows, side by side. View to view, floor to floor, knows the windows, walls, and more. Hey, this is a poem. I just realized it's a poem because it rhymes. What do you see out the window? Looks like a tractor or a bulldozer. I need to look up, look that up to see which one it is. Look it up in the dictionary. Inside cat knows many windows, finds a view wherever it goes. Wanders, wonders, stares, snacks, each scene through a pane of glass. Can you see the parrot? Look at the parrot right there. And look at how the cat goes from small to big. Glass all dusty, glass so streaky. Glass gone gloomy. Glass way freaky. What do you think those words mean? All right, so we've got dust. The cat is cleaning the dust off. Streaky. Looks like the cat put paw prints all over the place and is laying back enjoying the art that they've created. Gloomy. Ooh. Looks like Halloween, maybe. And freaky. Looks like stained glass. That cat looks happy with his paws up. Glass all bubbly. Glass got broken. Glass that's blocked. And glass wide open. View to view, floor to floor. Knows the windows, walls, and more. Oh, what do you think this person's doing outside the window? I see bubbles. It looks clean here. Do you think they're washing the windows? That's what I think they're doing. 
Inside cat knows many windows, finds a view wherever it goes, wanders, wonders, lingers, laps, watches all things as they pass. Looks like we've got some people in a race. What else do you see when you look at this? What's happening here? Looks like a salt and pepper shaker. Oh, a bathtub. What is happening here? I think the cat is drinking water out of the toilet. Fluffy rats and roaring flies, racing birds and boats for mice. There's a helicopter. And what is happening here? There's a spider with a fork and a knife. I wonder what the spider is going to eat. Floating eyes and giant treats, great cat kings and wild beasts view to view floor to floor knows the windows world and more if you can hear a sound in my ba in the background it's my dog Maisie she's rolling around on top of her bone I don't know why she does that maybe she knows I'm reading a book about a cat inside cat knows many windows finds a view wherever it goes Wanders, wonders, nibbles, naps. Knows what's hiding in the gaps. So what do we have going on here? We've got animals wearing socks. I wonder if this is about a dream. Because look, we've got a cat in a crown. Knows who lives down in the ground. Knows who lives up in the clouds. Knows who plays with all the kids. Knows who is the fluffiest. Knows what smells. Knows what blares. Knows what speeds. Knows what stares. Knows what rises. Knows what falls. This looks like maybe, is it a train maybe? This looks like uh, maybe a trash truck, balloons, salt and pepper. Is that snow? Inside cat might know it all. Oh my goodness, look at all of these different drawings. These look like little paintings that were maybe painted in watercolor, but the cat, inside cat, has all of these memories and visions and imagination. Look at all these balloons. Boy, the inside cat sure sees a lot from inside. Every view and every floor, all the windows, world and more, top to bottom, head to toe, Nothing more for you to, oh, well, look at that. Now we're outside in this giant world. Do you see something familiar? You see all, there's a helicopter, maybe the helicopter that the cat saw when they were inside. And now this giant world has opened up to the cat. The cat has seen everything from the inside, and now they're seeing everything outside. And you know what else I noticed? Look at this building. What does it remind you of? Does this remind you of a cat? Look, does that maybe look like a tail? Ears? Maybe eyes right here? What a cute book. And look at this. And the end papers... So these are end papers, got end papers here. So we have inside and the end papers here outside. Look at this big giant city that inside cat gets to explore. Oh, let's read about the author illustrator. Brendan Wenzel is a New York Times bestselling 
author and illustrator based in upstate New York. He has written and illustrated several books for children, including A Stone Sat Still, Hello, Hello, and They All Saw a Cat, which was the recipient of a Caldecott Honor. Caldecott Honor is a big award. He is also a proud collaborator with many groups working to protect and conserve wild places and creatures. You can mo find more of his work at brendanwenzel.info. What a great book. If you like cats, this might be a good cat book to own. I really had fun reading that with you. We'll see you next time.